Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the daily crypto news and now the question of today is what is your favorite crypto exchange and please don't put any referral links in the comment section down below that's not going to help anybody but put down below what your experiences have been like and for me it is actually bit true at this point for which a link is down below but they also have a pretty interesting action going on which you can join yourself as well make sure you just head over to my twitter and here it states BitTrue gives the number one crypto interest rates worldwide. Celebrate one year of BTR with a huge giveaway. And again, I don't really know how the giveaway works, but I saw everybody doing it over on Twitter. And basically, you can get tickets. Uh, every 10 tickets or every 10 likes on Twitter is one ticket. And people are just, you know, going back and forward with this by liking each other's things. So head over to Twitter, press the link here, check it out, and let's get on with the video. Ripple. New multifunctional XRP tracking tool introduced. Dev Null Productions has introduced a new XRPL tracking tool called Zerp Tracker. The tool can be used in many ways and allows you to set up filters that keep the user informed by mail, SMS, or push message. So that on its own sounds pretty damn interesting. So let's read a little bit further into it so we can get a, a more or a better concept of what it is. The prices of crypto have shown a high volatility in the last weeks, so many traders are looking for additional tools to support and monitor the market. The cryptocurrency XRP also offers good entry opportunities on a daily basis to make profits through smart investment decisions. The new tool Zerp Tracker offers new useful functions for exactly this purpose. So Zerp Tracker for the XRP trader introduced. A Dev Null Productions, a renowned provider of XRP data and messaging services, recently introduced its new tracking tool, Zerp Tracker. Using the tool allows settings different filters to better monitor the market, and the user can be notified by mail, SMS, push message, or alert. And as you can see here, Dev Null Productions is pleased to announce the general availability of Zerp Tracker, a XRP ledger transaction tracker through which specific patterns of activity can be monitored and alters alerts sent via email, text message, and webhooks for programmatic integration. And you can see the tweet here. It says it all. It's pretty damn cool if you think about it because, uh, I mean, it, this might actually help a lot with insight for yeah, a lot of damn people. You can make these own tracking accounts yourself now a little bit easier than before. And Ripple presents Chef XRP for integration of PayID. As Crypto News Flash had already reported, but again, they want to kind of uh, get back to pay idea is up and running. They're doing their job. But a few IDs, a few days ago, Ripple presented the web application Chef XRP, which enables bills and subscriptions with pay ID and can be piloted in a test environment. To use it, testers must download the banking app to Zoom and whatnot, but it's a pretty cool initiative, especially this tracker right now. Because again, it's all it's all it's all effort from people that don't really have to put the effort in because it's not necessarily making them a lot of money, right? But it's about the progress. It's about all that surrounding it, which is really amazing in my opinion. Ripple, XRP volume crashes on the largest payment corridors. The liquidity index bot has reported a sharp decline in XRP liquidity on Ripple's largest payment corridor since the beginning of June. The reasons for the decline are not yet known, although the fall in the XRP price does not appear to be the only factor. So earlier we stated as well that the CEO and, and all the guys over in Ripple explained why, even though they got at least 28 new production contracts for ODL in the first quarter of 2020, the volume would most likely go down. They explained it in a series of tweets, after which David Swartz also came along to clarify exactly the stands. And basically what they said is they're having a little bit of a change of perspective or change of priorities rather, where they're not going to be focusing on single entity big partners, but more so on just really their focus that they had from the start, which is SMEs, uh, e-commerce and, and all that, where you're doing your transactions from many people to many people instead of from one single big entity to tons of people. All right, moving forward. Well, XRP folks, Ripple IPO on the way, are you ready? Uh, this new creation capital posted on Twitter, 
you're receiving this notification because you've expressed interest in investing in Ripple through Equity Zen. Equity Zen will launch an investment opportunity in Ripple at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, June 30th. A link to the offering will be available on our listing page once it is live and will include information about the investment opportunity, including pricing and valuation. No action is required for you at this time. As a reminder, you can manage your indications of interest by visiting my watch list from the investments drop down menu all equities and offering details including the contained in the email should be kept strictly confidential for more information please visit the website well i guess he didn't really do that he didn't really keep it confidential the person who shared it but also um i don't really exactly get how this is all working here here crypt eddie says no it's a fund not holding series a share with voting rights shares sold on the secondary market by early investors or rip or employees etc whom don't wish to wait for ipo for offerings just like this this year with market conditions a bird in the hand nothing to do with an ipo so basically the situation is at least what i what i perceive from all of this is let's say for example there's 10 parties who already invested in ripple right and then one of those parties well, the IPO is not live. One of those parties decides to sell a little bit of what they have before the IPO to either make sure they, you know, at least get some money in, uh, maybe to make their investors happy. Depends on what type of fund we're talking about. And sometimes it is also just to make sure, you know, they're secure with it all. Um, or maybe they want to give some good deal away. I don't exactly know how all of that works. But again, if you if you want to know, just ask Crypto Eddie sent. Do sumo saba. <laughs> I've actually never tried to really pronounce that. Sento sumo saba. I think it is. Well, pretty cool name. But yeah, check it out. Check it out, guys. It's not the first time I've seen this, by the way. But I've, I've never really dug deep into exactly how it all works. But here you can see as well, Equity Zen has multiple different things um, on, on there. And fun fact, here they're saying that Ripple is not even on the list. And maybe maybe somebody just added it, which is also another possibility. Or maybe it's just what um, Crypto Eddie just said that uh, that's going on because there have been more. Is what I saw some other guys say as well. Private equity offering. So yeah, that, that could be it. It uh, sounds pretty logical, and a lot of people are going eagerly at this. So I'm assuming that that's the truth. Leonidas just posted on Twitter: Exir Exchange lists XRP with an Iranian real pair. So not really much to add to that. It's just, I think, pretty cool to see that they've been, um, you know, adding things. Exer exchange list XRP with the Iranian Ryle pair. Yeah, pretty damn good. Not that juicy, not that much to talk about because, well, what else is there to say with <laughs> this type of stuff, to be honest, guys? I mean, it's cool to see they got more pairs and more, you know, uh, fiats going on. However, they got so many already, and I think the most important part is if they ever get um, the ODL integration going on, but just an exchange listing is, is good, but not groundbreaking, and will definitely not do anything for the price either. Cryptimi uh, here on this website says, three new cryptos go live on CoinX. And just one thing I wanted to say surrounding new listings on, on exchanges is, I'm still wondering exactly how to spot whether or not the, you know, what, what type of, or no, not whether or not, but what type of payment is required to get on these smaller exchanges or sometimes even bigger exchanges. And also, if it ever has any real effect on the price. I mean, Coinbase, Binance US, those might have a big effect. But all the other ones, I don't really know if this has ever done anything really, really good for the price. I mean, if you get listed on OKX, it might be a pretty groundbreaking deal. Um, but, but it will only be a big deal if you didn't have much trading volume to start off with. Or if there were not really trading opportunities at the start. But if you've already had them and it's just another big exchange after 10, it doesn't really do anything anymore. And fun fact, that's the same that would happen with Comp. Um... At the start, one exchange that's big is going to do huge for the price, but afterwards, not going to really change. And same for XRP. Any exchange to get on right now, I don't think will do that much for the price at all. Signal that marked start of Bitcoin's 2015 bull run just hit a new high. So this is something we see very, very often. Bitcoin one-year hold at new all-time high. We've reached a new all-time high with 62% of Bitcoin not moving on-chain for at least one year. 
Strong hands from holders, such high levels of holding have been present at the start of the previous Bitcoin bull runs, Swift wrote on the matter. This individual, Philip Swift, on-chain analyst. So yeah, uh, to a certain extent, I would say this is really damn good and really damn cool. Uh, on another wave, it could also mean a lot of different things. I mean, yeah, it's true that if people hold their Bitcoin for a very long while, it, it, it kind of shows they're more prepared to wait for the long term. It also shows they're not really keen on selling. However, it could also be that they're waiting or anticipating for a certain point to sell it all off. Point is, you don't really know whether or not this is going to end up being bullish, even though they might have been holding their coins for a long time. It doesn't necessarily state it's going to be really, really positive in the end, which is something to think about as well. Rafael Schutzekraft says on Twitter, a thread showing 12 charts that illustrate Bitcoin investor confidence and increased holding behavior. Spoiler, this is extremely long-term bullish. Now, I do get it. Right, don't get me wrong, I do get how this can be seen as one of the most bullish things for crypto or Bitcoin specifically, because again, as I just made, I think it makes intuitively a lot of sense. People are holding through, so they're not selling, they're willing to hold their, they have a better long term expectation, otherwise, they would have sold it by now. But also, short term, really, if you think about it, because well, otherwise, they would have sold it and bought back later, right, if they knew the price was going to go down at any point. Basically, holding. Or higher numbers of holding are always positive and it shows people have confidence together with a lot of these bigger investor parties saying that they're going to invest one percent or smaller portions it is pretty damn good for crypto and it's really looking like a lot of volume is going to be pumping in anytime soon bitcoin market could be in for some big movements Crypto Compare has compared the CAV of the recent Bitcoin trades and seeing the price turning more volatile is assuming that the market could be in for some big moves. Is the market anticipating some of those? A new bull run could be around the corner by Alistair Milne and hard not to be incredibly bullish on Bitcoin these days by Pompliano. Crypto Compare says, Bitcoin to USD volatility comparison. One week ago, the cumulative averages, average volume of trades was high. Price were stable and rising. Yesterday, the CAV was way lower and the price was much more volatile. Is the market anticipating some big movements? Then Alistar Milne says, holding for a year or more has now hit an all-time high, as we just said. Guesstimate that the cycle will peak around 70%. I'm really eagerly waiting to see what it's going to bring. And Pompliano says, hard not to be incredibly bullish on Bitcoin in such a chaotic world. Because as we said before, all this quantitative easing and really what the Fed is doing is basically what Bitcoin was made and designed for. So intuitively, that makes sense that right now is when Bitcoin would really, really shine or thrive. And also why we should all be bullish on Bitcoin at exactly this point. Now that the government might fall down or something like that. First mover, Bitwise calls 50k Bitcoin price when market calm finally breaks. Bitcoin has traded in an ever-tightening range for the last two months, and digital market analysts say a new wave of CV cases and emergency measures could provoke the largest crypto by market cap out of the doldrums. Which is again something we're waiting for here, but it's a fun and interesting thing to think about how long ago the halving has already been. Really kind of strange in my opinion, to see how big this is all moving and also what type of ranges we keep on seeing but this is a range we've been in for uh yeah, as long as we can kind of remember right it's, a, it's it's been holding pretty damn strong and i don't want to let too much lose on all of that for right now as these price talk price talk price talk i've been seeing it for the last couple of weeks maybe not months but still most of the time they're not right and i believe later we'll do some cool prices or at least some cool price predictions and analysis on xrp possibly bitcoin and Chainlink. Uh, so make sure you subscribe by the way to the channel so you don't miss out on any of that cool stuff and bitcoin's price could surge to four hundred thousand dollars by 2030 researcher says i've told you guys before nobody can predict this type of stuff not the best data scientist in the world will know exactly whether or not this is going to happen so Again, don't believe that type of shizzle. <laughs> it's hopeful. I mean, we're all hoping for this type of stuff to go through and pull through. Same situation applies to XRP. You know, we're all hoping for it to really, really do something crazy like that. But it's almost impossible to predict, almost impossible to know. And I'm not going to count on it for right now because, um, well, it's only going to be a letdown. 
However, $400,000 is still a conservative Bitcoin price in my opinion for the future because it's only times 40 and I believe there's way, way more to go or times 50. There's way, way more to go over longer term for Bitcoin and it will really, really get there. But guys, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Hopefully very, very soon. Yeah, most likely, most likely. But again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys again in another one.